Yeah, Monica Lucero Park is mostly empty now, but not long ago it was filled with more than 100 friends and family of Jeremiah who were obviously sad, but just as obvious was their anger that nothing has been done. He went through hell. Yes, he did. But you know what? Right now he's here with us and he's smiling down at us. That's our guardian angel and he's going to stand up and he's going to protect every other kid that this is happening to. Yes. It's going to stop. Frustration doesn't even begin to describe it. These children need to stop dying. It's awful. I'm sick of seeing this on the news. It's every day, every day, it's just happening to one of our children. Tonight, the family of Jeremiah Valencia remembers the 13-year-old boy who was brutally murdered in November. And while they mourned, they demanded answers from lawmakers. They're putting him in the ground. There are angels. These children don't know any better. And as yet another New Mexican child is taken too soon, those closest to him say his tragic death will be part of something bigger. Jeremiah may have lost his life, but he's going to give life to a hell of a lot of kids. Amen. 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 His death will not be in vain. Like many of the other vigils we've covered for children who've been killed here in New Mexico over the years, the people here said they're going to continue to fight for justice, but they also said this has happened one too many times. Reporting in Santa Fe, David Carl, KOAT Action 7 News. Okay.